They seek to establish systems of government based on the regimentation of all human beings by a handful of individual rulers who seize power by force. Yes, these men and their hypnotized followers call this a new order. It is not new, and it is not order. It's like we're living in a cage with invisible walls The wicked sight, geist of life, making grown men crawl On their knees, begging please, save us from the boogeymen Funded by the CIA, funneled through Arabian banks Like a shank to the neck They hit you from the back, no sweat Ho check and watch us shake And take away your freedom, you really don't need them When you're tucked away, safe and protected by FEMA Then you must be a dreamer, like the great pretender Ask the second amendment, why I'll never surrender But I'll never plead the fifth when it comes to September I'ma yell it from the roof and expose the agenda yeah. Time to wake up and open your eyes to the matrix This is going out to the truth as a patriot Living free and dying hard, speaking through battle scores Yeah, we're all rip master of many things Dot com Uh, in case you guys forgot We have a show on Fridays <laughs> 6 p.m. Pacific time Master of many things dot com Slash live shows and, uh, I don't know what the master of many things has been up to lately, but I do know he's been doing an awful lot of trawling. Haven't you, Cap? <laughs> you fucking schmuck. Leave that poor guy alone, man. You got me starting to feel bad for him now. <laughs> I don't even know really what's going on, but you guys are following Kevin, uh, He's having a pretty, uh, pretty gay time over there. <laughs> I don't know, he's on some mission to, maybe he's fucking burnt out or something, needs a few laughs, I don't know. But, it's Pete Santilli guy fucked her, <laughs> he found the wrong dude to fuck with, man. <laughs> Kevin, leave that poor guy alone, man. I'm sure there's some kind of human rights fucking discrimination or law being broken somewhere in the world and needs your attention. Like, I keep going to see what the fuck he's posting. I'm like, yeah, he's gonna put a good one up in a minute. Another fucking video about Pete Santilli. <laughs> Anywho, the reason I'm here is for this right here. Take a look, folks. Take a real good look at it all. Seventeen trillion. Debt per taxpayer. One hundred and thirty-seven thousand one hundred and fifty-three dollars your ass owes, citizen. Where's our fucking money, citizen? I already know what's gonna happen next. The fucking government, the economy is gonna collapse. Oh, we need help. We gotta keep the country going. Who's gonna run the country? Give us more money. Hey. Hey, you citizens, you guys owe us $137,000 each. It's your fault. I wish fucking people were, I wish they knew about common law because these people could just be rounded up right now and hung on the fucking spot. That's how fucking bad the corruption is. If you folks can't see the corruption going on in this country in the government, not just in government, I mean everywhere. I mean, people are selling their souls for fucking Elmo dolls and to have a hit single. Okay, that's fine, but what about after you fucking... After you die? Don't you want to do anything after that? <laughs> 
you're gonna sell your soul for a few measly dollars on this fucking earth to look good, and then in eternity you're gonna be looking like one of these fucking gray aliens they got walking around. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you guys want any kind of this information? You come on over here. There it is. And if you want anything else on fucking national debt money or government spending for the 10 million time you want to go to opensecrets.org matter of fact let's go there right now watch this oh boom first one up there we got it yeah you can't type in O. opensecrets.org folks This tells you everything about campaigns and elections. You can see where all the money came from, even the fucking private donors, all the lobbyists. And by the way, folks, in case you don't know, lobbyist is just another word for a briber. Lobbyist, briber. So keep that in mind when you hear, um, I got twice as many lobbyists as this guy does. Look, they get talk about personal finances. They talk about earmarks. This is the good shit here. Influence and lobbying. You want to check this out here, about. This is where you'll find all your fucking grand corporations and George Soros Rockefellers giving money. Okay. Let's see how much these fucking schmucks have spent so far anyways. I also know they have, uh, I believe the group running the election, should say rigging the election, and who's, and who owns the voting machine companies, head of the, the fuck is it, New Century New American Century, or Project for a New American Century, run by Jeb Bush. Okay? Okay. Just another one of those coincidences, though, you know. Here's all the uh, slime balls who have given so far. Rita Allen Foundation given the most $150,000. Next post. You can't forget that most of this money, come on, when you're dealing with the fucking mafia here, most of this money's coming from under the table, coming from people who should have nothing to do with politics. The only way they find their way through politics is by their fucking money. Oh, Rockefeller Brothers only gave a hundred grand. You must not care too much about their fucking election this year. So there's the 2015 individual donors. Where you'll find the names like George Soros and David Rockefeller. All those slime balls on there. Bunch of lobbyists. Friends of Washington. Okay. I was going to talk about some common law stuff. But I think most of you people out there know common sense. And know that. No law is above common law, and that the people can arrest, pretty much do whatever the fuck they want with the government anytime they want. Common law is when, you know, someone's 
individual rights are being attacked. We're standing up for those rights, that common law. Common fucking sense. That's why one of my favorite fucking quotes ever is I may not agree with what you say, but I will defend till the death your right to say it. So if you can't say it, don't care, don't matter. Like the fucking video I had yesterday of that one mayor telling the lady she couldn't fucking film the council meeting. And he didn't give a fuck. He's like, yeah, I'm not, I don't care about the explanation. Just get it out. If he, if, I'm telling you, that's why I had to stop going to city council. Because a couple of times they fucking talked to me like nobody talks to me. And I almost fucking ran up there and started strangling motherfuckers. So I had to stop going there. Especially since I didn't have anybody to hold me back anymore in case I did do something stupid. <laughs> but believe me, I got a blitzkrieg going on the Sac City Council. Don't worry about that. They're covered. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not a fucking detective here. I'm not going after the little fish to get the big fish. I know the fucking, I got the fucking dirt on the big fish. The big fish is going down. All the fucking people, and I'm doing a video about the Swiss, uh, Fort, Swiss Fort Knox. Coming up soon. That's where all the elites have their shit stashed. And guess who's protecting them? One of uh, the other country, besides us, I believe like the only other country, that has guns. Okay. So keep that in mind. Next time Obama says, I don't want your guns. I just want a few of them. I can't comprehend how this fucking guy is still in office. This is unbelievable. And that word is putting it lightly. I mean, a fucking five-year-old can see what's going on and, and arrest this fucking guy. You just wait till the major shit starts happening. Huge fucking terror attacks almost every day in this fucking country. When they know damn well where the fucking terrorist camps are in this country and aren't doing a damn thing about it. If I know where they are, and they know where they are, and they know where they are, and everyone knows where they are, the FBI should know where they are, right? Maybe the counter-terrorist unit? Yet, yeah, apparently, they don't know. Well, some people know, but don't know. You see, the little guys, they go complaining about it and stuff. And the big guys just shut them down, you know? Okay, well, why don't you go get a few more little guys and come back and arrest the cocksucker? We should have been assembling years ago. I mean, when the fucking Occupy movement kicked off, I was like, it's about fucking time. And now I'm like, what in the fuck is going on? Nobody's getting arrested? Hillary Clinton under fucking indictment and shit and the bitch is still running for president? Hello? These fucking people are laughing it all the way right in your face, man. And you're fucking buying it hook, line, and sinker. I find it weak. I find it pathetic. I find it even more pathetic that most of you were on this election shit a year and a half before the fucking election. And the fucking election doesn't even matter. If you went to OpenSeekers.org, like I always tell you to do, 
You would know it don't matter. Follow the money. There's my cue. I'll be back soon. I'll take care. God bless and carry on.